Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be this hair and makeup look. It's a really easy, like disgustingly quick hair and makeup look for back to school. Honestly, will probably take you about 10 to 15 minutes in the morning. Not going to lie, I hardly wore makeup in my last couple of years of school. You were lucky if I even put a bit of mascara on. But this is for the days that you do fancy being a little bit extra or you have a crush on a prepubescent year 8 boy. It was so weird going back and looking through like old school photos. I literally looked like a toe. But yeah, if you would like to see how to get this, then just carry on watching. Has anyone else been watching the new Australia Love Island? Because I must say, I am thoroughly enjoying mine. To start off, I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour Foundation. This one is in the shade. I can't tell you because it's all rubbed off. So I'm going to take a pump on this of this on this on the back of my hand and just blob it everywhere and then blend it in i'm only going to be taking one pump because obviously i want to be keeping my makeup super natural if it's for school plus you don't want to be putting too much on because i don't know about anyone else but does your makeup last like five times less long in school literally by the end of the day my eyebrows were like here it sounds like i'm assaulting myself with a beauty blender mm. oh god i got shit all over this hair look at how loud that is now i'm going to be going in with this makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. This is in the shade C3. It's basically just a dupe of the sharp the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Okay, I've got sleepy dust. That's really gross. And I'm just going to be highlighting my face with this. Therefore, it's okay if your foundation hasn't covered everything you want it to cover because this is going to add a little bit more coverage into the center of your face. My throat is so sore. Oh my god. Favorite thing in the world is blending out nose highlight because once you're done, oof, nose job. Now I'm going to be, I'm going to zoom out because I'm ugly. Now I'm going to be going in with this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is in the shade 50 and it's a perfect match to my skin tone. I'm going to be using this to contour my skin. Okay, oh my god. I'm going to have a go for me in my bio for my itchy nose syndrome because it's seriously becoming a problem. I'm putting this a tiny little bit in my cheekbones around my forehead because I've got quite a large one. But that's not a problem. Bones at the end of my nose. And then I'm going to go in and blend it out. And I only put a little bit because you will be able to see it is pretty dark. <laughs> blend out the bit on the bottom of my nose. Thank you. Oh, it's dog hair in it. Now I'm going to take the Gosh Prime and Set Powder. This is really good at keeping your makeup matte all day if you're an oily little bitch like me. But before I do that, I'm going to really, really, really. Before I do that, I'm going to make sure that all my concealer is not creased. <laughs> So now I'm going to be going on to eyebrows because obviously eyebrows are the most important part of the face. You've got to have them looking all fleek. First thing I'm doing is brushing them up with this spoolie that I need to return to college because it's colleges. But And then I'm going in with any brown eyeshadow palette because I'm ratchet and people always ask me what I use in my eyebrows. Just any brown eyeshadow. I'm really not fussy, which is also probably why they don't look very good. <laughs> I'm kidding me, that camera wasn't even recording. Now once I fill my eyebrows in, I always go back in with a spoolie to brush them through because I don't want no chunky brows up in these beach. I always flick them up just to make sure they like make my eye... One second. To make sure it makes my eyes look more lifted and I also always extend the tail out a little bit more. Just to try and elongate my eyes. Probably doesn't do either but can try. Now I'm just going to do the other eyebrow. Oh my god, I also want to say a massive thank you for 50,000. We hit 50,000 the other day and honestly, my mind is blown and I feel like it will be blown for the rest of eternity. Just the fact that even 100 people want to watch me, never mind like 50,000. I can't even wrap my head around that number of people. And I don't want to come across as like a narcissistic asshole because I know that there are people out there with like bloody 50 million probably. But to me, like 50,000 is just crazy and I'm so thankful and I'll never be able to tell you how thankful I am. Meeting some of you at Summer in the City was just like one of the most incredible, incredible experiences of my life and I love you all so much and I just wanna... 
I also just want to say, yes, the rumours are true. Um, Sophie and I are in a relationship. It's very early days, but... I just... Why did I actually, like, tear up talking about that? Now I'm going in with this Sephora Trio. I'm going in with, like, the little bronzer of it, just on a big fluffy brush and just bronzing around the perimeter of my face. Then I'm going to go in with this Jeffree Star highlight, which every time we have an R.I.P., but I just like another one. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you to everyone who's attended this service today in memory of this beautiful, beautiful highlight. Am I going to buy another one? No, because I'm poor. Taking that on a fan brush just on the high points of my face. I'd honestly, to be honest, recommend not putting on too much highlight to school because you're going to be sweating anyway. Something about school buildings just make you sweat. Um, I know I'm not the only person about this, like, your skin just, like, excretes more oil in school. I mean, I'm not here for it. I'm also going to bring it over my eyelids because we're not really going to be putting any eyeshadow on. So it'll just add a little bit of shimmer and depth to your lips. Because that's what we want. Now taking the best mascara in the world. If there isn't already religion around this mascara, then there should be. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Lash Multiplying Mascara. And <laughs> does this multiply your lashes? And I honestly put down having like good looking lashes to this mascara. I just... I just love it. I would use eyelash curlers, but I lost them about mm -hmm, three months ago. And am I going to buy more? No. Why? Because I'm poor. Now, to finish the look off, I just fished these two Maybelline baby lips out of my lip balm collection. We're gonna have an EMS lip balm collection coming soon. I'm putting this one all over my lips because it's basically just a lip balm. It's the Doctor Rescue one in Peach Kiss. Doesn't really add any color, just kind of smells like menthol. And then I'm just gonna put this one over the top to add a bit of color. I used to get told off for even wearing this at school. Sis, if you think this is pigmented, you got another thing coming sweaty. As for hair, I mean, I take great care of my hair. It's not like it's been up in this bun for the last... <coughs> I'm just putting some dry shampoo in. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take all my hair back. It's really hard, I'm doing this without a mirror. Ew, it like stays back. GG Hadid who. And then I'm gonna take the bit from in front of my ears and like section the upper portion of my hair. It really depends how thick your hair is. I don't really have very thick hair, sadly. I used to, but I don't anymore. So I'm taking it up. Okay, I really need to do this in the mirror. Basically taking it up on my head, securing it with a hair tie, half up, half down, job done, Bindi. So this is what the hair looks like. It looks like trash, but I'm trash, so that's okay. So that is the end of my video. I really, really, really hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. You can subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. Make sure to click the notification bell too to make sure that my videos come up in your subscription box. You can leave requests and comments in the comment section down below, as well as all my social medias being listed in the description box if you want to go and follow me over there. I'm most active on my Instagram. Wow, I did that all in one take. I'm pretty impressed. But yeah, I love you all so, so, so much. Thank you for all constantly supporting me. And once again, thank you so much for 50k. I love you all with all of my heart. And I will see you all very, very soon. Bye.